Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2023 Bowman Baseball 8-Box Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number 19 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Full case jumbo. It's been a minute since we've done this, so remember all card ship except for paper vets and non-first prospects. All right, all obviously all chrome ships, all first Bowman ship, paper and chrome, all RC rookie card paper ship, everything else we're going to donate. And obviously hit to numbered cards ship. I'll show you an example as we get going here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Wednesday. And most of you won teams in Bowman Jumbo Pack number 19. So thanks everyone for joining that filler. Henry, you ended up with Last Bot Mojo with the Mariners officially. Thanks to the handful of you who bought teams straight up. And thanks to everyone else who helped fill up the filler. So it doesn't matter how we get it done. I'm just glad we got it done. Now, Eric was asking earlier, are, am I still granting genie wishes like I did in that basketball mixer? I don't know. That was, that was a special moment there, Eric. I'm not sure if I could repeat that here. But we'll see. James is going to try. He says Roman Anthony and Marcelo Meyer numbered autos. Please and thanks. Well, let's, let's see what we can do. Three autographs per box on average. Cam Collier out there in the universe. Chad seems to be under the impression that, that we're like Burger King. Now you can just have it your way. I wish it worked like that. That would make life easier for, for all of us, right? Make myself a little extra room here. Good luck. Have we? I feel like we've not seen a lot of Cam Collier autographs. He must be short printed. Right? I've seen more Drew Jones autographs than I've seen uh, Collier autographs. But I don't know. We'll find out. This is why we play the game, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We're like Pirates of the Caribbean. Sometimes you find a map. And X marks the spot, you get there, you dig it up, you find the treasure chest, and it's just full of sand. Sometimes that happens. Or sometimes it's filled with a bunch of pieces of eight. You know, maybe maybe some jewel encrusted sabers. You know. Gigantic pearls. Who knows? This, this is why we do it. We're modern day explorers, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we are. Here's Javier Osorio to $3.99. Green paper for Detroit. That'll be for Jimmy. All right, so that rookie paper is going to ship. All right, that Julio Rodriguez is not going to ship. Oswaldo, uh, Oswald Perez uh, will ship. Francisco Lindor will not. And I know there's still some guys in the minors that have some paper, but those aren't going to ship either. Everything else will. Obviously, these are inserts. They'll ship. Like, oh, no, that'll ship. That's the Bowman first. Like Anthony Gutierrez. I think he's still a prospect, right? But, yeah, that, that car's not going to ship. His Bowman first was in some different product. Jackson Holiday's Bowman first was in a different product. Etc. Etc. But everything Chrome will ship though for those players. Just the paper won't help us a little bit shipping wise. Our first autograph is purple Chrome to 250 Luis Ravello. It's going to be for James and the Red Sox. Eric M is going to is wishing for a Jackson Curio sights on September. 
autograph. That's what the sights on September looks like. Sometimes they can be autoed. So good luck. Justin Crawford's going to the Phillies. That'll be for Matthew. Drew Jones paper for Neil, who bought the Diamondback straight up. So first of many, I hope. Justin Crawford paper, those are gonna be going to the uh, Phillies. Matthew Shira with that one. And we got Colby Thomas. For the A's, that's gonna be for Chris Butler. And we'll do a autograph recap at the end of the break. We'll show you all the autographs and any you know, any lower numbered cards that we may stumble into. There's Ha Yu Lee to 125 for the Phillies. Matthew with that one. Is this guy called up yet? No, right? Is he gonna get called up this, this year? Andrew Painter? I feel like I would have we would have heard if he was being called up. Maybe he'll get a cup of coffee this year. I don't know what stage he's in. What level he's in right now. We got Purple Paper O'Neill Cruz, and we got a Robert Perez Jr. Refractor autograph for the Mariners. That's going to be for Last Spot Mojo. Henry for that one. Got Spencer Jones for the Yankees. That's going to be for Tristan. O'Neill Cruz, Purple Paper for the Pirates. That's going to be for David. We've got our three autographs out of the box. Any other lower numbered cards here? Got Cam Collier Paper for Chad and the Reds. We're on a Cincinnati. All right, box one in the books. Box two. Uh, while I'm ripping packs in box two, let's uh, let's take a let's, let's whip around the league, as they as they say. I think all games are a final, right? No, like late Seattle game or anything like that. No, that game's already done. I think the Angels game's already done too. Uh, Rangers beat the Pirates in Pittsburgh. Looks like uh, Marcus Simeon homers. Perez throws, oh, Martin Perez, I think, right? Throws seven strong innings. Smith picks up his 100th save as the Rangers top the Pirates 3-2. That's, that's Will Smith, not catcher Will Smith, but reliever Will Smith. In extra innings, the Phillies beat the Diamondbacks. Six to five. Trey Turner has been getting some booze lately. 
from Philly fans. He has not really been living up to that big contract and not living up to the big contract he signed with my fantasy baseball team. There you go, LBC, there he is. Keep the Red, dot, Red Sox, that's right, Red Sox gets quit. I am doing well, thank you. Missed your comment earlier, thanks for checking in. There's Andrew. Go Rangers, yeah, nice win for the Rangers. Looks like things are starting to click there. But Trey Turner hit a game-tying home run in the ninth, and Alec Baum wins it in the tenth. So that's good. That's good for my fan. That was Trey Turner's only hit for the He's one for five, but the home run helps himself, the Phillies, and my fantasy team. In Cleveland, this is for you. The White Sox shut out the Guardians six to nothing. Michael Kopech strikes out nine. That's pretty good. I think he's getting things back on track, too, after a rough year, start of the year. That's why we play the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we play the game. That's why we play 162. All right, we'll go through some more games after this box. There's Randy De Jesus for the Halos to 499. Josh Young for the Rangers. He's, I think he's been playing well. And we got a William Lugo yellow lunar. You can see the, the craters of the moon on there in the background. They're 19 out of 75. That's for the Mets. That'll be for Kevin M. And the Mets. And our autograph is Emmanuel Bonilla. For Toronto, that's going to be for Ryan and the Blue Jays, the Blue Birds. You got Marion Boyd flying around there. Edward Julian is another guy that we're kind of keeping an eye on, too. An eye on, as well. Spencer Jones. And Samuel Zavala, Bowman Invicta. It's a slightly thicker card stock. Those cards are pretty cool. Jones paper. You know what? You know what else I haven't. I haven't seen a lot of Cam Colliers. I was mentioning earlier. I haven't seen. Have we seen any train whistle hits in here? I feel like there was a. I feel like there was maybe a printing plate that we pulled, but not a proper one of one. Not a super fractor. Let alone a super fractor autograph, but just even just a regular super fractor. I haven't seen so. Maybe that'll be there for somebody. Here's some speckle. Juan Carella, 281 out of 299 for the Yankees. That's going to go to Tristan, who bought the Yankees straight up. You'll get all those Spencer Joneses as well, Tristan. By the way, if you're wondering if those if those those lunars are numbered, they're not. They'll ship, but I'm just kind of breezing by those because they are not numbered. In case you were wondering. Justin Crawford, and most of you know Carl Crawford's uh, kid. 
There's Anthony Gutierrez, 90 out of 150 for the Rangers. That's going to be for David M. Little color match there, blue chrome for the blue Rangers. The blue Power Ranger. You do Power Ranger Knights out there? Anyone know? Do some Power Ranger Knights. Wow. Is this an auto? There it is. 74 out of 100 Cam Collier Atomic Auto for Chad and the Reds. At Jaspies, have it your way. I guess it works. You rule, Chad. Oh, there's a commercial right there. I don't know if I'm going to beat the first one, Chad. That's like having like the GOAT conversation in like the NFL. You kind of have to just take Tom Brady out of it. And then you can have the discussion. All right, next box. More scores around the league. Eric Hauser continues his Adrian Hauser continues his surge. As the Brewers win 4 0, shut out the Astros for the second straight game. The Brewers improved to 27 and 22 on the season. Astros only managed four hits. Yeah, we, we have to just take that, that, that card out, out of the conversation, Chad. I'm never going to beat that card. Unless the unthinkable happens. Um, guess what? You know all those Edward Julians for the Twins, Kevin? I didn't realize he's uh, he's been, uh, I guess, I guess he's already with the Twins. Isn't this 2023? This was 2022 draft. But he's already there. Edward Julian and the Twins pound the Giants 7-1 in series finale. Looks like he returned to the leadoff spot. Hit a home run and knocked in two. And he's right. He's in this set. I didn't realize he was already uh, already putting in work. We got a Juan Brito. That's going to be purple paper. To 250. Purple paper majesty. It's going to be for the Rockies. That's going to be for Scott and the Rocks. And we've got a Dodger, Damon Keith. It's going to be for Jeremy Port. Got randomized my Dodgers in the filler. And we got Gabriel Gonzalez, Speckle. To 299, that's gonna be for Seattle, that's for Henry.
Another Justin Crawford. And we got a Diego Hernandez. 71 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Royals. That's going to be for David. Uh, zero. Zero hype that I've heard of. But one of our uh, one of our customers here, one of our collectors here, uh, Brandon, I think it was, who lives out in that neck of the woods, apparently had gotten uh, season tickets for the for the Dodgers Single A affiliate there. Apparently, he's making some noise out there. So there's Edward Julian. Uh, he was drafted in 2019, but that's his moment first. but he's already doing damage in the league. But hey, I'll take I'll take Jordan Alvarez comps. You know, a lot of, a lot of GMs definitely do not have any regrets about the moves that they make. Like the bad moves that they, the moves that end up not looking good they're you know they're they're a pretty confident group of people they're they're always going to stand by their decisions but dodgers gm andrew freeman did say that if there was one deal i would take back that would be the jordan alvarez deal it's pedro ramirez refractor to 499. i mean the dodgers have done fine since but there's matt walner to 499. And there's the Pedro Ramirez for the Cubs. That'll be for Matthew. And we got a Shea Langliers uh, out of 150 Rookie of the Year favorites autograph. Nice. That's for Chris Butler and the A's. And there's Josh's brother, Jason, for Detroit. All right, next box. Oh, that's a, that's a good topic, Rex. Let me go through the rest of the scores here first, and then we'll we'll get into that Drew Jones super that's been pulled. All right, so uh, Reds beat the Cardinals ten to three. Lively Newman stars as Reds pound out eighteen hits. Beat the Carl. Ben Lively earning his first victory. Kevin Newman driving in three. Rays beat the Blue Jays. The night after uh, the Blue Jays put 20 on the Rays. I should have bet that game. Usually home teams who get blown out like that. The night before, Rays lost last night 20 to 1 to the Blue Jays at home. They're usually bouncing back. Rays beat the uh, Blue Jays 7-3. McClanahan becomes first eight-game winner. Orioles beat the Yankees 9-6. Alex Call doubles in a four-run second. Nationals doubles in a four-run second, and the Nationals beat the Padres 5-3. If you're in a deep league, Alex Call might be a good outfielder to have in your fantasy leagues. Uh... Ozzie Alves drove in the, the walk-off run, the walk-off sacrifice fly, I think, to be my Dodgers 4-3 and avoid the sweep. Tigers beat the Royals 6-4. Zach Short. We've seen his autograph before. Zach Short hitting a three-run homer. Rex's Cubs beating the Mets 4-2. Marcus Stroman 
pitching eight sparkling innings. Marlins beat the Rockies 10 to 2. Yuli Guriel four hits. Helps Marlins route the Rockies. Angels complete the sweep of the Red Sox. Otani and Trout both homer. Beat the Red Sox 7 to 3. And the Mariners beating the hapless A's 6 to 1. Bryce Miller continuing his spectacular start. A couple B Millers pitching pretty well. Bobby Miller pitching well. And Bryce Miller only allowing two hits, six shutout innings. Pretty nice stuff. All right, yeah. So this was, uh, this was, I think, sometime yesterday. An Ohio card collector faces a weighty decision after pulling an autographed Drew Jones Super Fracture card. This is according to The Athletic. With some with some uh, with some reporting on the hobby. Oh, here's a pink Ariel Almonte to one seventy five pink paper. So David Adams, a memorabilia dealer among other things, offered whoever pulled the card a two hundred fifty thousand dollar bounty up for it up front if found within thirty days of its April twenty sixth release. So it was just days away from the deadline too. And I think the card was not pulled, wasn't from a break. It was from like a local card shop, I think, which is awesome. You know, good for, good for that card shop. Maybe they do breaks too, I have no idea. But it's always good when the, when the hobby shops are getting a little love out there. So I think as most of you know, there was the, uh, the there were two bounty options. Obviously, the $250,000 straight up or... A million dollar option if the Diamondbacks makes, uh, if the Drew Jones of the Diamondbacks makes the uh, Hall of Fame as a position player. I mean, yeah, you got to take the 250 now, right? Rex is wondering, does he take the bounty or try to sell it somewhere else? You think he will it go for over two fifty? Rex thinks if he got the two, if he, if you hit it, you would take the 250 and give 50 to the card shop? Wow. What is that, 25%? 20, 25% of that? That's very generous, Rex. There's Zach Geloff to 125. There's Nick Morabito to four ninety nine. I mean, they're they're not getting twenty percent of that from me. That's for sure. Well, the government probably takes uh, the government's going to take some of that money too, Rex. So it's probably more than twenty percent. <laughs> you think the government's going to take their hand, keep their hands off of two hundred fifty thousand dollars that you got from the sale? Or from cash that Dave and Adams gets you? Yeah, that's definitely being taxed. I mean, I, I maybe I take the take the shop owner out for like a steak dinner or something like that. Really nice dinner, best restaurant in town, kind of thing. Maybe a nice bottle of wine or something like that.
We got an Elijah Green autograph. Nice. 32 out of 50. Number 19 on the Bowman Scouts Top 100. That's from Matthew from the Nationals. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if they would do that. Rex would want a hundred thousand dollars, and then get, get, give him the rest in Bowman cases, or maybe t this year's twenty twenty three Bowman draft cases, so you can chase after those Bradys. I don't know if they do that. You could ask though. I might take. I might. I might see if they take cases, and you would just stick them in a safety deposit box. All right, we are. Uh, this is the. This is box five, so we're halfway through the case. Four boxes down, another four to go. About another thirty minutes to go, or so. And then we're gonna do a recon uh, half case break, which I don't think takes very long. And that should bring us pretty close to the end of the night, if not, if not a little over. So what would everyone else do? If you if you got that Drew Jones Super Fractor autograph, are you are you cashing it in for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, or are you waiting to see if he becomes a Hall of Famer? What, like thirty years later, I guess. There's Ariel Almonte to 199 purple lunar paper. I mean, that, it's so hard. Yeah, just take... I mean, you could take the 250 now, use the law of seven to make it one million before he even has a shot. Yeah, I feel like you can take the 250 and if you invest it pretty wisely, or even you can even do it pretty conservatively, Get a bigger return back, more more of a guarantee. You can put it like, you can put it in something as simple as, I don't know, like a. You don't even have to put it in the stock market. You might, you can put it into like a savings account. <laughs> put it like an online savings account, like get three percent back a year on that. At minimum. Put it to an put it to a S and P five hundred index stock and have it be up like ten per ten fifteen percent in like five six seven years. You can buy Bowman baseball cases. Let that appreciate over time. It's so hard to predict, like Hall of Famers. It's just ridiculous. It's an interesting bounty. I don't think, I mean, I'd be shocked if anybody takes, if that person takes the, the Hall of Fame option. Unless that person is like, you know, 
Here's Aaron Judge lying. Unless that person's already like a millionaire, doesn't care, and maybe has a young child, you know, and says, hey, here you go. Here's. You know, here's. Give it to a small child and say, hey, you might be able to cash this in for a million dollars in 30 years. Yeah. It's a starter house in some areas, right, Scott? Not in LA. Not in LA, but <laughs> in some other areas, yes. In Ohio, maybe in Ohio, in that in that area. Here's Emmanuel Bonilla, purple chrome for the Blue Jays to two fifty. Who knows if uh, Who knows if David Adams will be around in thirty years? All right, you got to think. Drew Jones would have to have at least 15 to 20 year career, right? To put up Hall of Fame kind of numbers. You know, and then you gotta, you gotta think, you gotta think, get this bug out of my way. Get out of here, bug. You know, it probably takes 10, 15, 15, 20 years to even put up Hall of Fame numbers. Just the sheer counting stats alone. There's James Wood. Ooh, piece of candy. 250. Purple Ray Wave. And then it's like, what, another six, seven years before you're Hall eligible? You gotta wait then. You gotta wait during that time. And what if he turns out to be an axe murderer in that time? There's just too many what ifs. Let me just take that now. But I get it. You know, million dollar bounty out there sounds sounds pretty uh, sounds pretty awesome. Here's Gabriel Gonzalez. That's gold to 50. 39 out of 50 for Henry and the Mariners. Right, yeah. How many Hall of Fame Bowman first will ever one of one will ever be a million dollars? I mean, I don't know. I mean, who knows what the economy is going to be like in thirty years? Chances are, it's going to be pretty strong. You know, if there's a kid that's born now <laughs> and has that card and that that million dollar voucher. In question, you know, then you know maybe there are cards that are in you know with the natural rising prices that that, that generally happen over three decades, over thirty years. It's inevitably going to happen, with or without any global events. Maybe there will be $1 million cards. But it might not be the same million that it is today, though. My biggest concern, I, I mean, the even bigger concern for me is like, what if, what if David Adams doesn't have a million dollars? and cash laying around 30 years down the road. You know, what if, what if what if ownership changes and they say, no, we're not honoring that, no way. That was a quacky promo they ran 
in the olden days of 2023. You know, here in 2053, we don't do stupid stuff like that. Not the David Adams of 2053. It's like their grandchildren or something like that around here. Yeah, my grandfather was 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 wacky. We don't uh we don't do crazy stuff like that. Sammy Munoz is like, we're, listen, we're David Adams. We're a Fortune 500 company. We didn't, we didn't become that. Just giving away a million dollars for Drew Jones. What if he goes into the Hall of Fame in 2073? What, what, what situation would that be? Oh, I guess if his Hall of Fame eligibility ends and he gets voted in by the player committee... Is that, what you're, is that your scenario, James? It's a possibility, man. See, then look how long you're waiting. Here's another Mariner, Refractor Autograph, Robert Perez Jr., 499. Another one for Henry, Last Bob Mojo. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a good scenario, James. Yeah, what if... What if What well, what would the what would a more fun way to do that? If they um, like, what if they base it off of like all stars? You know, in like the first uh, in the first five years. You know, if he has like over under two and a half all stars. You know by. By five years or something like that. Within five years, over under, that could be interesting. Maybe not a million dollars, but maybe like we'll we'll double it if he gets over two and a half All Star appearances in his first five years. <laughs> All the things going on in this world, and Rex is concerned about asteroids that are heading our way. There's Justin Crawford for the Phillies. There's Michael Harris for the Braves, Ryan. There's Matt Mervis to 399. Lava for the Cubs. That's gonna be for Matthew. I guess you didn't say you were concerned, but I don't know. There there are the the possibilities of of other world ending events are a lot more plausible and possible than than an asteroid. It's like the same people who are you know, the people who are worried about not that Rex is worried, Rex isn't worried, but the people who are worried about asteroids are like the same people who worried about shark attacks. Brandon Walter to one fifty. Brandon Walters for the Red Sox. That'll be for James. Yeah, I feel like there should be like, I don't know, some sort of game attached to it where you would follow his career, not just a Hall of Fame at the end, but if there is like, you know, if there's like something where it's just like, yeah, if he, if he gets over two and a half, like let's say you start at like 500,000 or something, you know, or you can start at 200,000 or something like that. Or even a hundred thousand. If he said if you get over two and a half all stars within this first five years, then we escalate it. We give you another. We give you another fifty thousand or something like that. 
You know, if it's under, we'll subtract 50,000 from like the, the starting point, the base. And then you just keep going up and down from there for at least the first five years of his career. And then you just cash out, you know, because then, you know, you don't want to have to wait 30 years for that. And you can have a little fun. You can kind of stretch it out in a marketing sort of way. You can keep stretching that, keep, keep the, uh, you can put some long legs on that one promo. Person still gets paid out. Person will still get a minimum of something. And I think everyone's happy and you can chance to get more. Could have been a fun game. You know, rookie of the year, here's another, you know, $50,000. Over two and a half all-star games in a five year, in his first five years, here's another $25,000, you know. Do all these fun little escalators. It's Joe Stewart for the Angels. That'll be for Chris Butler. You know, or like guarantee $100,000 and then the escalators could make it like $600,000 within five years if certain events happen. But at minimum, the person could still, will still get a minimum $100,000 or something like that. There's Edward Julian for the twin. That's going to be for Kevin. And the Nelson Rada for the Angels. That's going to be uh, for Chris. All right, two boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. Did I ever hear the story about Nixon? That Nixon, Richard Nixon, the president? took Jackie Gleason to see aliens? The movie? The sequel to Alien? Or are you talking about lowercase a aliens in the desert? Friends in golf, I used to show them to him and supposedly did. Hmm. Like an like like the the supposed aliens, like at Area 51, so lowercase a aliens. I thought you meant they went to the movies. story is obviously not true but I didn't know that it, that was even a thing oh there's Oswald Pereira 25 out of one Peraza to 125 there's an Oswald Peraza there's an Oswaldo on the Yankees too right I feel like I'm j mixing up those names jamming me up we got Yafri Solano to 499 for the Marlin that's gonna be for Kevin Gleason, I, also, who's Jackie Gleason? I feel like that's a name that I know. 
but I couldn't tell you what what Jackie Gleason was in. There is Manuel Beltre to 299. Speckle for the Blue Jays, Ryan. Honeymooners. TV show, right? Roman Anthony to 250. Red Sox, that's going to be for James. Purple Ray Wave. Right, Smokey and the... See, that's where I would... I don't think I've ever seen a minute of Honeymooners, but Smokey and the Bandit, that's that's right. He was in Smokey and the Bandit. we got a Simon Juan. Bowman Invicta Atomic to 150 for Kevin. And we got a George Valera autograph, 86 out of 99. Bowman Scouts Top 100, number 22 on that list. That is for, it's for James, James L. Cleveland, this is for you. There you go. On the board with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You think, you think the Guardians have Guardians of the Galaxy Knights? That's it's a little on the nose, but they got to do a promo like that, right? Join your Cleveland Guardians for Guardians of the Galaxy Night. Bring the kiddos, why don't you? It's Ace is High with Ace Rothstein. We got a Gabriel Gonzalez speckle to 299 for Henry and the Mariners. And we've got Braylon Bishop. Bishop to E6. Going to David and the Pirates. Yar. Oh, this is the, I mean, we've still got a box to go, Eric, but this was the autograph that he, want, that he wanted there. All right. Did I, show, did I show these cards? I think I did. Let's 
save these for the autograph recap. Getting a little chilly in here now. Let's turn studio lights and get a little, a little toasty in here. All right. Eighth and final box. We made it. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. Three more autos to go. Some numbered cards. Hopefully we can get some nice hits out of here. Maybe a low numbered hit. Something. We got a, a Marion Boy, 38 out of 150. Blue chrome autograph for Matthew. Blue. We got Nelson Rada, magenta to 199. Halos, Chris Butler. Drew Drones Chrome. And we got Troy Johnson. Troy Johnson, Marlins, Kevin with the fish. All right, another little stack to go. We are almost there. Almost done. It's a cool looking Drew Jones. I like I like these inserts. Real clean, real sharp looking. I dig it. And there's Dean Jorge. Refractor autograph to four ninety nine for the Rocks. Scott with the Rockies won that team in the filler. That's one eleven out of four ninety nine. His Bowman first. Rock lobster. Doo, 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 doo. 
Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. We've got Jordan Lawler, sights on September Atomic to 150 for Neil and the Diamondbacks. Drew Jones paper, got some yellow paper in Austin. Charles, that's the 75. For Kansas City, that's gonna go to David. There's a chrome cam collier. Chrome cam collier. Justin Crawford paper. Jordani De Los Santos Invicta, Jeremy Pena purple paper. That's for the Strohs, that's gonna be for Chris. Justin Crawford for the Phillies, that'll be for Matthew. And done. Thanks, everybody. This is Bowman Jumbo. Pick your team 18 in the books. Here's a quick little recap. Some nice stuff here. That Elijah Green, real cool looking. Shay Lang Lears. Got some nice color. Got that Atomic Collier. A lot of great stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.